well. Remember earlier it was gut check time for Monroe Guest. We mentioned he wasn't going to be able to make it back. Technically does have lane choice, but you saw the destroyed race car. Dwayne Shields is going to get a single. This is what it looked like and, and sounded like, and it was scary. drivers Monroe Guest and Brandon Greco a-okay I still contend the fact that Monroe's car hit the wall and then turned a little bit of an angle kept it from being just a 90 degree head-on hit there with Greco and look at the sparks just flying off of Brandon Greco's car it's amazing he did not get turned upside down let's see what Dwayne Shields can do he can do pretty darn well 527 275 miles an hour it's top speed of the weekend by a bunch he just loves running here at this racetrack as Dwayne Shields gets the win and advances. Nice to have a freebie. Let's go down to Jamie. Mike Camella, wind light came on, but you saw the red light in the other lane. Were you still pushing? I was still pushing, but uh, I think I left a little bit late. Uh, luckily, luck was on our side for that round. Got the red light, got the win. We'll take it the way we can get it. Uh, one Jake, JC Autoglass, Joe Control. Uh, Peck Racing Springs, NGK Spark Plugs, Moroso Jessel, System Ones, all for helping us get here. Motorsports Unlimited. Without them, we wouldn't be here. Thanks. It's a team effort. Go get them. Yeah, thank you. Well, first national event. He's got that interview stuff down pat, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. It's like a veteran. Quick little side note. What is low lapse time? 5.23.9. That was on the pass that Monroe Guest crashed. I got to go back to what Mike said. He said, we might have gotten a little bit lucky, and I was late on that. Let me tell you, when you're sitting there as a new driver on the starting line, the other guy takes off so much uh, ahead of you, ahead of the green light start, that's going to throw you off. He doesn't have to apologize for any reaction time in that run. 